Greetings and salutations, Charlton66 here once again with another video. I hope everyone is doing well. hope everyone is enjoying their Easter. Um, happy Easter to everybody. hope everyone, like I said, is doing well. I didn't want to shoot a video today on Easter, but I'm pretty excited about something. Um, went, to a, uh, went to a local show yesterday, and there was a comic that I was looking for that I knew a dealer had dealer had had um, that the price was more than what I what I had last show I saw it in the Tyson show that I talked about on my last video the book was there and I forgot to mention it but it's something I really really wanted um, to me as a Charlton collector it was it was a very important comic book to acquire <laughs> Um, but like I said, at the time of last show, um, I didn't have the funds and, you know, I had my limit and I'm sticking, sticking to, to that limit. Um, as you know, it's hard to do, um, in this hobby, but, uh, I bided my time and I said, okay, next show, if he's there, I'm going to try to acquire this comic book. Um, and it's... I don't want to say it's a grail, but it's one of those books that once you find it, it's scarce to find. I've never, ever seen one until last show, last month. Um, so I had, the price was, um, long story short, the price, what he wanted was three times guide, which almost three times guide. Yeah, almost three times guide. Um... I was willing to pay that because of the scarcity of this book, um, the the condition the book was in, to find a Charlton from 1955 and very fine, um, it's there. It's 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 not easy to easy to do. In this particular title, it's rare as hen's teeth. Like I said, I've never seen one before. Um, some of the dealers that I talked to. Never even heard of the title. They didn't know what, what it was about. Because um, I was trying to track this book down. Because I could not remember what dealer had it when I went last month. So I was asking around, hoping the word would get around the convention circuit. Um, that to show that, you know, this book was being sought after. Um, I know I'm doing a long story to get around this. But it just it builds up for me um, the excitement of, this, of having this book. Um, so I, I, I knew the, what the price was and I was thinking, well, maybe I'll trade. Um, I, I took some high grade books to trade. I took this in, in the trade. Um, I took the Spider-Man, uh, giant size four, um, very high grade. Um, as you can tell from the spine that it's flat. It's really, the everyone knows the giant size are hard to come by. Uh, I took this to trade. Um, nice high grade copy of Spider-Man 135. I'm not a big Spider-Man guy. So if I can trade these, I'm going to. Um, and high grade copy of Spider-Man 175. Um, uh, I was going to trade these. Uh, unfortunately, the guy only wanted Golden Age or Horror, um, pre-code Horror or Golden Age. And if I had pre-code pre -code Horror or Golden Age, I still don't know if I would trade it or not. But anyway, uh, long story short, um, the comic book that I have is in question. Um, again, it's not going to be, you know, of interest to most people because it's a Charlton book and it's a war book. Um, but the scarcity makes it, you know, incredible find. Anyway, here's the book called Never Again. Uh, look at that. It's a, such a beautiful copy. It's the first issue. Uh, I think the series ran for eight issues, I believe. Um, obviously, you know, they're going for the, you know, the EC horror, I think. Um, but... It has everything on the cover. It's got the Nazi flag. It's been, you know, the 
the been torn down portrait of Hitler and the thousand yard stare on the soldier. Um, but it's just a beautiful, beautiful copy of this book. Um, I couldn't ask for anything better when it comes to a mid 50s Charlton and the scarcity of this comic book. I'm very happy to have it in my collection. I wanted to share it with everybody. Um, so I ended up paying, paying the, um, the price. He knocked off 15 bucks. I was paying cash. Um, uh, you know, it guides in that condition. I think it was like $85. Again, the Overstreet guide is very subjective to me. Um, again, I don't see, you know, them using scarce, you know, how scarce the book is or how rare the book is with their price or, or how much is it, it's out in the wild. Um, those prices should be adjusted for that and, and, and they're not. Again, it's, it's, it's subjective. And I'm willing to pay what it was. I think it's 85 in that condition. The guy wanted 225, and he knocked it down to 210 for me. So I paid cash. I was very happy to do so. Um, you got to pay a premium if you want a certain book in a certain grade, and you need it for your collection, and it's something that you know you're not going to see again. Um, if I find that again, it's going to be by accident, and it's going to be high price again or it's going to be dirt cheap because they don't know what they have and I don't I can't wait around to find one in that condition for for a price I'm willing to pay um, again the dealer knew that he had me basically because um, I was just ecstatic over it and, um, and uh, it was one of those things where uh, I wasn't going to leave without the book. Um, and I think the dealer knew it, but he did knock off a little bit for me, which I do appreciate. Um, again, I just can't get over my enthusiasm with this book. Um, it's a spotlight of my Charlton collection. Um, such a great cover. And the artwork is really good inside. The stories are good inside. There's a World War II story. There's a World War I story in here. Of course, a Korean story because, you know, in 55... You know, everyone was coming back from the Korean War. That's just, that's recent news for that time period. But it's just a beautiful, um, beautiful, beautiful book. I'm very happy to have it. Um, it just shines in its mylar. And again, you take it out of the mylar, there's, you're not going to notice any more defects from what you're seeing here. It's that good of a book. Um, the only thing is, of course, because of the shoddy printing of Charlton up until the time it ended was there was over... There's, um, the pages come out over just because it was just, it was just the way it was, it was bound. Um, but the condition is just, it's such a great stories. Um, it was a good read, uh, but it's, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal addition to my collection. And you saw what I was willing to trade for it. Um, those are, you know, um, and it's, dealers are funny. Um, he could have probably sold those Spider-Mans. For quicker, much quicker than he could have sold that that um, never again comic book because people are not going to go after a, 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 in their minds a non key and pay two twenty five for a Charlton War comic book. But you know, I I knew what I wanted, I knew what I had there, and I had to have that book. So um, again, that's about it. That's all I really wanted to share with everybody. I know it was a long story, long roundabout story to get to the point, but. It's that excitement. Um, I saw it last month. I've been thinking about it this whole time until this show, hoping the dealer would be there. And when this show, I've, it's about a 60-mile trip for me one way just to get to this convention center. Well, it was in a firehouse. Um, I saw Rag718 there. He was busy wheeling and dealing. I didn't want to interrupt him because I just went there just for the one book. The first time I went to a comic book show specifically for one book, finding the dealer, I found the dealer, got the book, and I left. It wasn't, it wasn't there for any for anything else. So, it was a it was a mission, um, and uh, the mission was was, success, was successful. So, again, I want to thank everyone for viewing and subscribing. Thanks for tuning in, watching my videos. I'm still, you know, taken aback by the number of subscribers that I have. I'm up to 345, I think. 
and the number of views that, that, that I get, um, I'm still always shocked by it. I enjoy making the videos. It, 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 it's therapeutic. Um, I like sharing things. I like hearing what other people have to say. Um, negative, positive, whatever. It's, it's a conversation and that's how I take it. So, um, the other videos I've been watching have been phenomenal. Um, Night Tiger's recent pressing was very impressive. Um, he bought, if you haven't subscribed to Night Tiger, um, do so. Um, his last video was very impressive with, uh, his pressing of, um, Golden Age book that was really trashed. Um, but he did a very impressive, no pun intended, impressive, did it anyway. Um, very impressive, uh, pressing of his comic book to get out the spine roll, um, which was very, very, uh, very well done, and uh, it looked really good at the end, so check out his videos, but again, I've been watching tons of videos from Silver Age Dave, um, you know, Night Tiger, um, and there's a bunch of others, um, I just, my memory is early in the morning right now, and memory is uh, not thinking of these titles, I should write them down um, beforehand of what videos I watch and what they're, what they're about, but i um, been enjoying them. And um, like I said, I enjoy the videos, the conversations, um, the feedback. Um, so again, uh, make a comment, um, what you think about the book, um, or anything else you might want to see uh, on my channel. Um, I'm, like I said, I always say this in every video, that I'm trying to get better equipment. Because again, I shoot on my laptop, so it's hard to take around the room or show in boxes and stuff of, of you know, do a, uh, do a poll uh, what's in a short box or a long box or what have you uh, it's hard to do it with the laptop so i'm planning to get better equipment so i can take the camera to the con and and you know and shoot some footage with that and shoot some footage of what i have in some of these boxes and share with everyone what's going on so anyone you guys take anyway you guys take care and uh enjoy your easter and i'll talk to you guys later